Hey everyone, and welcome back to the starving artist Cinnamon, trying desperately to survive all by her onesies in the middle of the frozen tundra. Number one, obviously, we have to heal Kazuko immediately. He's bleeding something fetus over here. Uh, he's got 15 hours to live. That shouldn't be too big of an issue, though. Uh, number two, I want to actually take this parka over here off of Partridge and store it inside so it doesn't get any more tattered. I prefer not to wear it if we can avoid it. Uh, that tainted debuff will give us a mood penalty, and I really can't afford a mood penalty on a solo survivalist challenge. It could literally mean death very easily. But if we absolutely need it, we'll use it in the winter, uh, but we'll try to avoid using it until then. The next goal is going to be a practice of farming, so we can actually maybe have some chance of pulling heel root out of the ground. Right now, our plants are at one. So I want to come down here and sow all of this area here with rice. Now, it'll probably freeze or something like that. Either way, we'll get the skill. And the skill is the most important thing. Uh, because without heel root, we're eventually doomed. And there's no real way to get heel root out of the ground without getting your plant skill up. And that's a good way to do it. Plus, this will also help us with our tree cutting ability since it's based on plant. After that, I want to go find two more large size animals. Those ibex we had seen up here are a good candidate. Uh, that'll give us enough leather to finally build a bedroll and upgrade our sleeping spot off of the ground. Uh, and then we need a stockpile of 300 wood to last 30 days, which is basically the entirety of the winter. So I want to get a wood stockpile of about 300, and then I figure another 100 just for miscellaneous things uh, that we might need. And then lastly, I would very, very much like to actually move our base from this little hovel that kept us alive, it kept us from freezing on day number one, uh, up over here to this very nice marble room we're in right now that we're using as corpse storage. Every one of these tiles here is three beauty. So moving there will really help with our moods. And there's a steam vent nearby, or a steam geyser rather. So if we can get enough materials to encapsulate this and build a little uh, trench down into this little hole here, we can actually utilize that heat. It'll pump heat right into our room during the winter, making it even safer in case the fire goes out for some reason. But with all that being said, let's have Cinnamon begin by taking care of Kazuko, which I assume she'll do right away. Actually, it looks like she's going to haul wood to the spike trap. You know what? Let's have her come inside and clean the room because infection chance is based on the cleanliness of the room you're in. So we'll pre-clean the room as we're waiting for Kazuko to come over here uh, and take a rest in his sleeping spot. The second he gets in there, we'll have Cinnamon immediately tend to him. Beautiful. Death in 15 hours that he should be fine. Now, you need to make sure that he's got food in his stomach, lest he die from malnutrition or to die from blood loss, but no, he's good. He's got quite a bit. And then we'll shift click, shift right click, and queue up a clean this room order when we're done, just to really ward against the infections. This is going to be our stockpile up here for just the parka. Fantastic. We'll put it right there. Looks like Cinnamon did take care of Kazuko. He's got food. He's good to go. Let's have Cinnamon come over here. Ignore that trap for a second. We'll strip up Partridge. Fantastic. And let's immediately haul that parka back to our room. Oh, look at that. Cinnamon's actually already doing it. Fantastic. I don't want to wear it, so I'll set it to forbidden. Good. Only a couple seconds in, and we've already got two goals accomplished. So our trap is actually a pretty good thing that I had forgotten about. Uh, we'll actually put the trap in say right in front of our door here for now. Now I don't want to build this because they're going to go, Cinnamon's going to go grab the wood and then bring it over one by one. I want to haul all the wood around. So let's actually put it on for bid for now. And we'll let her just take care of whatever needs taken care of. Let's check the home zones. Yeah, there we go. Home zones all over the place. I don't want to be cleaning all of these areas. So we'll shut those things down and good. Okay, so next up, I'm really hoping, nice. She's actually going to come over here and start cutting the grass. And that's exactly what I wanted. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, let's actually shrink the zones off of these berry plants. It'll take a while to cut them out. And we really don't need to do that. They might grow berries in the spring we could use for our trek out of here. And these ones actually, we can just leave those berries there for now. That's fine. Hmm. So Cinnamon's a night owl, but she's sleeping in the night. That's less than ideal. I'd like to keep her busy, so let's have her uh, come down here 
guess I, maybe I have to actually see the zone. No, for some reason... Well, it says bad... Oh, you know what it is? I think it's too cold to plant right now. We can only plant during the day when the temperatures are higher. But during the day, she's actually sleeping. Oh, I see. I can't even order her manually to plant because it's too cold. Interesting. All right, well, I guess we'll just have to let her sleep then. Or I really do want her to start getting on the sleep schedule that is befitting for a night owl, which is going to be going to bed at 11 in the morning, and she's currently 5. So you know what? Let's go out and hunt a little bit. That's the next thing on the goal list anyway. Find two more animals. Those ibex were up here. Let's go have a look. All right. Well, oh, there we go. I was about to say we can't find any, but there, there's the two ibex I remember seeing, I believe. She wants to go rest, but I would really prefer if we waited a little bit longer. Two. This one will bleed to death in 15 hours. Fantastic. If we could just queue them both up for bleeding to death and then go to bed, that would be... Uh-oh. Never mind. Uh, hmm. 2% from range, you say. The Ibex is not well. We didn't build our trap yet either. We put it in position and we didn't quite get around to doing it. Okay, we're going to have to run away regardless. This is not good in the slightest. I was really hoping we wouldn't have another revenge. Alas. I think the only thing I can really do is hope to bleed the second one. Ooh, a rare thrombo has shown up. Now, which one is the one that's bleeding? The one in the front. So we need to shoot the one in the back with a single shot. One misclick here, and that's the campaign over, basically. If we run around for 15 hours, this one will eventually slow down and collapse. Oddly, the one that's not bleeding in the back is fine. Well, let's make sure this corpse is off forbidden so Kazuko can eat him up whenever he needs to. Ooh, nice! That's one. What do we got here? Cut short bow, pretty thick bleed. Surprise this one's so fast, but death in 13 hours, okay. And that's our second one. Death in 15 hours, death in 12 hours. Well, this is gonna take a while, but no more risk, unless we go on a mental break and then the game's over. <laughs> I guess that's the risk. Oh, wow, okay, that's two. Well, huzzah! Cinnamon can even go to bed relatively close to sleeping hour time. Not bad. One less thing off the goal list as well. I'm gonna wake her up early since it's actually relatively nice out at 50 Fahrenheit, 10 Celsius. And I'm hoping this will allow us to get out there and I don't wanna butcher right now. I'm actually gonna leave these guys both on the ground. Yeah, get out here and work on sowing the area while it's still... For whatever reason, you can only plant when it's warm enough. So we'll plant as soon as we can around uh, 8 o'clock at night, it looks like. Now, we're starting our planting at a skill of 1. Oh, we're about to hit skill of 2. Okay. And I'm hoping to get to a skill of 4 before we actually start harvest or trying to harvest heal root. There we go. That's 2. Okay, Major Break Chris is really bad, and it's now 11 o'clock, so we'll let her go to bed. Apparently, we had no problem whatsoever sewing, so I guess it's somewhere between 20 and 30 Fahrenheit that you can't actually initiate sewing the fields.
and get up at midnight to start sowing the field. Beautiful. Oh, nice little stargazing in the middle of the night. Boy, that's all we got done in a single day. That is not good. This is going to be two more days of work at this rate. Pazuko just got fully healed, by the way, so that's fantastic. Uh, we only have no more days of food left. Once we wake up, we'll eat, and that'll be the end, so we'll have to butcher these two up. Once we butcher them up, that means we can then use their plains leather to make a bedroll, which will upgrade our sleeping spot a little bit. Plains leather bedroll, here it is. I want to throw it in right there, and we'll queue that up automatically. We should also make sure we clean the room before we cook to avoid food poisoning as much as possible. And we're going to restock our food supplies today. Build a new bedroll. You know what? Let's actually assume we'll get it done, and I'll just put it right into position rather than building it somewhere else. Voila! Our bedroll. All right, fantastic. And now Sidima's going to work on sewing the area again, getting her skill up. How much has she gotten so far? We started at one, uh, and we're about a little, almost halfway through number two. Okay. Let's see how much she can get done tonight. We're starting at one in the morning. Oh! Oh! There it is. That's the threshold. It suddenly became 27 in Fahrenheit, negative 3 Celsius, and we stopped planting. And Cinnamon went off to go do other... D Whoa! The holy... 12 bison! When the heck did these guys show up? Let's see Kazuko's area. He can go in there and eat the corpses whenever he wants. Okay! Well, I guess Cinnamon can't plant uh, until the sun comes up, and then we only have a few hours until she has to go to bed. Okay, this is a good opportunity since we're fully stocked up on meals here. She'll finish cleaning everything up, get all of her mood super high, uh, have a good day's rest, and I think what we should do is queue up some more wood. I did say I wanted 300 minimum just for the fuel, just for the fire through the winter. Uh, I'm going to want more than that a little bit, let's say 400. Here seems to be the best place for trees, uh, the closest place for trees. Actually, you know what, over here looks a little bit closer. So let's queue up, uh, I'm going to say that many trees. Let's see how much we get out of that. I'm going to say around 200, 250, potentially. getting planting skill here for doing this, which is good. Once we hit level three, we'll actually chop trees and plant the rice a lot faster as it is. But now it's time for Cinnamon to go to bed since it's 11. This is really, really, really slow going over here since we can't plant through the nighttime because of the temperature. It's unfortunate. Oh, there we go. Cinnamon woke up at, it looks like eight o'clock at night and it's actually warm enough to keep planting, so good. Yeah, instantly, 28 Fahrenheit, negative 2 Celsius. That's the threshold that you stop at. Well, that's okay. We'll move on to chopping trees. Now, these bison are a huge amount of meat and a huge amount of leather. I would love to hunt them, but keep in mind, A, they're a pack of 12. So if they go on revenge, that's going to be a nightmare. Uh, and B, I don't super need them right now. I'm more concerned with getting other things set up for the winter. And that's our wood. I was I was pretty accurate. I think we have about 240 wood from that haul. Once it all gets hauled into the stockpile over here. And there we go. We are now up to 247 wood. Looks like we have a dry thunderstorm. We'll go to bed in just a bit. Any chance we can... Fin this is the last day I think we can plant this and have it maybe show up before the fall. 36 Fahrenheit. Nah, we'll see what Cinnamon's up to when she wakes up and how the temperature looks.
Well, food stacked up. It's nine at night, and yeah, look, looks like we can actually. I think the thunderstorms might have actually warmed it up a little bit, oddly. And that's it. We only get a handful of things planted every day, but we're up to 2,500 out of 3,000, so that's none too bad. I did say I wanted 400 wood. We've got 247. Let's look around for the next closest and largest stockpile of potential wood chops. I want to get, yes, somewhere down in this area. They're all smaller trees. Yeah, not a huge amount of them, but we can chop those guys out. And over here, and this should be enough, is my guess, to last us through the entire winter. Some cargo pods have arrived. Bringing agave. Oh, here we go. This has got to be where the cargo pods are because they usually bring a lot of steel in. So we'll go check that with cinnamon before we go to bed and see if we can't haul back whatever we find out there. Oh no, Cinnamon went on a sad wanderer break from the unsightly environment. Ah, that's too bad. We do have 414 wood though, so that's good. I have a couple, three, four more queued up. But this is going to be a huge dent in our planting plans. What an unbelievably huge waste of a day that was. Make sure we clean up the room as the first thing we do so that doesn't happen again. That was just a bit of unluck, uh, unluckiness because we had a relatively decent mood. It was in the minor break risk, but there's not too much you can do about that. We can build a table, of course, which we're going to do soon. I'm going to move to this room soon, but if we didn't plant this one, we did. There was zero chance of us harvesting it, uh, and we really need that skill as fast as possible before the winter sets in. Whoa, is cinnamon, cinnamon is harvesting the fully grown rice. Okay, only a handful of them. Yeah, only two of them are fully grown, but still. I didn't actually expect that to happen. For a zero growing period at time of year, apparently it's not actually zero. Uh, another thing we should do, the raid was actually a while ago. So let's turn on this spike trap here. Get that built as fast as possible. We don't want to have a raid show up before we have. That would be really bad. Now done hauling, 391, that should suffice. And there we go, a three in plant skills, fantastic. All right, but we just finished up our six meals. The bulk goods trader has shown up. Ooh, look at this domestic rabbit, okay. Let's go trade with Jaguar and see what we've got here. They will actually buy our pemmican, our rice, our light leather for barely anything, and our wood, which we need more than anything because there's none on the map. We can buy pretty much nothing from them. We could make, uh, the plan is to make dusters and a nice wool shirt during the winter. I feel like we're down to the point where we absolutely have to start worrying about more food. We need to go find those bisons and harv them up, or harvest them up. Kazuko no longer has any corpses to eat. They all spoiled, meaning he started to starve. But there is at least some rice to harvest. We'll work on that and then maybe get the bisons over here. <gasps> Actually, no. While the traders are here, maybe we can proc revenge on the bisons and have the traders kill all of them. That'll be no problem for them. Okay, that's a very good idea. They were down here last I had seen. So let's go on a little expedition looking for them. I actually want to proc revenge for once. 
Oh, over here. I can see all the Zs on the map. That's where they are. All right, Cinnamon, see if you can't do it. Get lucky by getting unlucky. The closer we are, the higher the... Oh, so I got scared there for a second. The closer we are, the higher the chance for revenge, so we should probably just get closer. We'll hit more likely, too. Don't want to be too close so that we can't react. Oh, you know why they came up here? It's because all the agave was here that I was going to go capture uh, before we went on the mental break. Oh! oh, it's just a single bison. Okay, well, hey, not too bad. Let's take a look at its health. Eh, well, it would have probably have bled to death, but let's just run back and have these guys deal with it for us. Fantastic. This is how you do it, boys. So it just runs back to camp. She's like, help, help, guys. I'm just a starving artist. I need some help. Fantastic. Let's see if we could do that again, but this time rock the whole tribe. Or herd, actually, is the word. Bison revenge. There we go. Took me the longest frigging time. I hope it's all of them and not just these two. Nope, it's all of them. I think. Is it these ones over here as well? No, what the heck? Oh no, the visitors are leaving, boys. Now's the time to get back. It's just these four. They left us a gift because we're so lame. Is it this one here as well? I can't actually tell, to be honest. Uh, I hope they're leaving in a way that would help us because uh, over in this direction, otherwise... This may all have been for naught. Come back, friends, come back. Okay, here they are. Although, I think that must have been just the visitors, not the actual trade caravan. Oh, look at the gift. They gave us two Glitter World medicines. Holy, that's a stroke of luck. Let's make sure we put those inside. Uh, I'm gonna turn this on Glitter World, okay. Clear everything off. Turn this one on, put the priority on critical. Fantastic, put that on haul urgently. Now, let's make sure we're not gonna use it. We'll put ourselves only on herbal meds. Let's also make sure that Kazuko is likewise also on herbal meds. Now that we're down here, let's prioritize hauling that before it gets ruined. Fantastic. Those bison will be coming in any second now. Come on, guys. Come on, bison. Where are you? Okay, here they come. Perfect. Well, I only got four of them. Relations have changed from negative five to negative eight. Domestic rabbit died. The bison stepped on their rabbit. Aww. Poor guys. Well, you know what? I don't want to be in this fray. Let's let them take all the, the brunt of the fight, shall we? Okay. Hey, well, we didn't get all 12 of them, but we got 20. Here's another one as well. Sorry about your rabbit, boys. <laughs> All right. That was a freaking amazing day. Wow. Okay, now how do we store these things before they go bad? Well, fortunately, it's mostly freezing all the time. So let's put up a uh, stockpile zone right here. That should hold all of them. And in this, we'll turn on animal corpses. Fantastic. Priority preferred. Good. And we'll just let Cinnamon go about her day because, you know, it's time for her to go to sleep. She was really busy that entire day. Her mood's not fantastic. And that was super, super, super awesome. And we even got some Glitter World medicines, which is going to make everything so much calmer and safer, I feel. Let's shift-click this room when we're done uh, enjoying the, the warm fire after a nice day out in the cold all night hunting bison. Whew, that was nice. Now, what's 
Cinnamon going to do? She's going to Butcher. Interesting. Uh, should we be Butchering right now? I think so. We'll Butcher the first one. The rest of them we'll put on pause. That's because we have no materials here. I want to try to plant as much as we can since it's 37, 36. I don't think we'll get much planting done, but just in case. Cinnamon will probably cook up as much as she can here until we're back into full stockpile. Yeah, then it's probably going to be too cold to plant all night, unfortunately. However, it's not too cold to harvest the field of 100% grown rice. Hmm. Fall has officially begun. Well, we didn't get everything planted, but we got something anyway. Mmm. And wouldn't you know, fall begins, and within one hour, every single plant dies of cold. <laughs> and there's a raid! Preventing us from harvesting the rest of the plants. Oh, this game just never lets you have a break. Literally, I did not- th Whoa, what the frick? They're here already? What the? Fast walker. Uh-oh. This could be the end. Cinnamon, go, 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 go. Fast walker is no good. Luckily, they got tripped on all of these rocks. Fast walker is literally the end of the game for us. If we can't get this fast walker to walk over this trap fastly. If that makes sense. I'm gonna go right over here to this doorway. I'll take like not even one shoot right here, right here. I'm not sure where to go here. Oh god, they missed it. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta do the same thing over here, ring around the rock. Whew! Okay. This is some micromanagement nightmare right here. I wanna go to the south so they come after us a little bit more. There it is! Ooh, did that do enough? Death in 12 hours, torso, old gunshot, how's that moving? 70%, thank god. Oh, my heart's actually racing. That literally could have ended the campaign right there. Fast walker is a nightmare. Let's look at their actual statistics. They move 3.36. How fast do we move without that stab? 3.96, so we are now faster. All right, that's, we did it, I guess. We just need to be careful and not mess it up. Unfortunately, all of our stuff will disappear probably by the morning, but whatever. I just farmed this dope up. Whew, thank the Lord for that. That was some sneaky weasel maneuvers by Cinnamon to pull the fast walker over the rocks, not once, but twice, and then to get them to walk. If we didn't have that trap, game over. Literally, game over, just like that. In any event, what we need to do more than anything is come down here and uh, shift-click, force, prioritize, harvest all of this before it's gone. You know, we're actually getting hypothermia. It's so cold now that it's the fall that uh, the clothes we have are not sufficient. Our plant skill is up to three now, with a 1,200 towards the next level, which is 4,000. I, I doubt we'll get that level, unless we, there's not even enough trees on the map to cut down during the winter, I don't think. Cinnamon's not in a good mood, but there's also not much left to harvest, and it's all going to be gone by the time we wake up. So we'll just, we'll risk another mental break here, just for a minute to harvest up these last six things before they're all gone forever. Now we're on a major break risk. This is really dangerous. But we just had the raider show up, so it's unlikely we're going to have another event, if not impossible. So even if we go on a mental break, we should be okay. And there we go. We're fine. Uh, and then a good night's sleep in a nice clean room with a warm fire with a whole bunch of extra rice we didn't plan on having. How are these bison doing? Dead for 1.3 days. They're frozen so they won't spoil. Awesome. This one up here will unforbid. I feel like one of them may have been eaten by something. Oh, we butchered one of them, so that's fine. All this meat's frozen as well. Fantastic. All right, well, at this point, we have practiced farming as much as we possibly can. The snow has finally begun. We got our bedroll, we killed the animals. We actually killed way more than the two animals. We killed two plus five, which is fantastic. The winter has begun, so all of this stuff will, will remain frozen. We have a decent stockpile of wood. 
336. We're going to need 300. Technically, to get through the fall is going to take 150 wood for the fireplace. To get through the winter is going to take another 150, so that's 300. And then to get through the cold part of spring is probably going to take another 75 or so. So we have that, but technically, if we're going to keep making traps out of wood, and each one takes 35 wood, we're going to need more wood. For now, though, let's, uh, let's just enjoy the fact that we're alive. After that fast walker knife melee user showed up, which easily could have been our demise. I'm going to move all the corpse stuff out of here. We'll take this, this, and this. And I think I want to end the episode by actually moving. Let's delete this, this zone. Let's move our house up over here, I think. We're going to need some kind of stone to fill this in. There's no more steel on the map, as far as I can see. There's literally no more steel. Stone takes a long time to work. So we'll have to just take a long time to work, because I'm not willing to use wood. There's just not enough trees in the map. We're going to need them for the winter. So let's take this up here. Uh, we'll select the entire lot of it and deconstruct it. When that's done, we'll remove the floors. We'll put this in. We'll move over here, and voila. Very good, very good times. all of the plants and whatnot completely covered in snow for the winter. And Cinnamon went on a sad wanderer mental break. That's very dangerous. Looks like we have a mega badger over here, which looks kind of scary. I'm hoping that doesn't eat our bison before we get to move them in. I hate to waste time on these mental breaks, but alas, I was trying our absolute best. I mean, I'm moving the corpses is probably what had a huge amount to do with it. Uh, out of this area but there's really nothing else i could have done we're literally trying to move into a bigger place where we won't get slept in the heat we won't have awful bedroom anymore we won't have unsightly environment anymore everything's going to be solved and also we can build a table in there everything will be solved so very soon just need to chop up these bricks One hundred and twenty marble blocks. All right, boys, it's time to move in. Mega Badger is hunting cinnamon for food? Uh, this is unacceptable. We no longer need this food over here. So let's copy this guy. Paste it over there. Beautiful. Now we can actually take this one down here. Delete it and destroy it. Get rid of this as well. We're essentially completely moved out of here. We just have a little bit more hauling. I don't know what to say about the Mega Badger, except that if I stay inside, it'll be okay. Uh, I don't actually know what a Mega Badger is or what it does. It's from a mod for more animals. So let's go outside and take a bit of a look. But Oh boy, there it is. Okay. Juvenile female Mega Badger, age 18. It moves at 4.05. How fast do we move? 4.19. We're actually faster than it. It looks like it's going to be eating our food, but I don't know how many of them there are on the map because the alert was for something up here. Looks like there might be more than one. Uh, if it's going to go over here and eat, yes, it looks like it is. I think while it's eating, it won't bother to fight back at us. So let's see if we can't take it down. Or at least try. Let's see what Cinnamon's odds are over here. 46%. Oh, God. I think that may have been not the one that was hunting us. Okay, well, at least it's cut now. Whew, that noise. Nice. Cinnamon hits it twice. Fantastic. 27% bleeding. No immediate danger. We're definitely slightly faster than it, thank the heavens. I just don't want it to eat all of our corpses. and I, I really also want to prefer that it doesn't break out a trap here either. Let's make sure we're not going to get ambushed by a second Mega Badger someplace. 
We don't have enough wood to, to really use the traps liberally, and there could be another raid at any moment. So we'll just do it this way. We ought to have to keep an eye on the fact that it's super cold outside. Negative 9 Fahrenheit, negative 23 Celsius. As we're out here, our hypothermia is stacking up, meaning we're going to start walking slower and slower, at which point it could catch up to us. So something to keep in mind. Beautiful work, Cinnamon. That's three. 39% bleeding, no immediate danger. Looks like the thing is very serious. Oh god, she actually got tagged by it. Okay, is she gonna be okay? Left eye got a really big not- Wow, I didn't think it would catch us that fast. Well, we have 22 hours and then it'll bleed to death. Yeah, I really messed that up. Uh, maybe hypothermia is slowing us down. 10% manipulation, consciousness. What's our moving currently? Left leg, consciousness, 85. It does seem like it's impacting our consciousness. Yeah, the consciousness is slowing us down. That's why it caught up to us. So we need an even bigger berth before I uh, shoot at it. I'm not even going to bother to shoot at it, actually. I'm going to come over here and see if we can't self-turn to our eye. We really need to go inside and warm up. In fact, now that we've given it the slip a little bit, let's come over here. It's bleeding. We'll go inside uh, and we'll self-tend to our eye. By the firelight. For that, we'll need to turn self-tend on. Make sure the room is clean before we begin. And then shift-click, tend to our eye. Also, you know what? There's no reason for Kazuko to come out here because all of the corpses are frozen. So, plus he could get hunted pretty easily, or she actually could get hunted pretty easily and murdered. So let's clear out the Kazuko Go area. Have him stay inside for the winter where it's safe. Now I can see the blood right here. Is that gonna know that we're inside? Is Kazuko gonna? Oh, oh he stepped in our trap, which is actually extreme. Oh God, no! It better not come in. No, but it's breaking the door. It's hit, hit for 16, okay. I really want to finish the eye tend, though. But if we lose the door... Oh, it wandered away after three hits, which it tends to do. Whoo! I'll have Cinnamon clean the room when she's done and then repair the door. How's the eye going? Hypothermia is at least coming down. Oh, she also got scratched in the jaw. I didn't see that one. There's a literal bloody mega badger at the door. <laughs> Oh, it's outside eating, actually. Look at that. Okay, let's come out and take advantage of this opportunity. Looks like there's an elk over here as well. That is the same Mega Badger, right? Yes, it is. Beautiful. It Oh, it actually it stopped being on revenge. Because it, it wanted to go eat. I see. Apparently eating stops being on revenge. Either way, we'll take it down right now and it won't be an issue. We also had an item stash quest for an infinite chem reactor and a power claw. That's actually pretty good. It's going to be there for 20 days. I, I doubt uh, that's going to be the middle of the winter, and we're not going to caravan out in the winter. My god. Look at how many times we have cut this thing. It just won't die. It's ridiculous. Finally, for God's sakes, get over there. Finish it off, Cinnamon. Finish it off. Whoo! And that is a beautiful place to end the episode. All right. So when we started, we needed to heal Kazuko. Kazuko was healed. He made a full recovery. Or she. I should get used to saying she. Uh, we also wanted to store the parka, which I did indeed do. It's down here. Uh, we wanted to practice farming to make heal root. Not only did we do that, but we got a little bit of rice. I think we've already eaten it all, or eaten it all at this point almost. But more importantly, we picked up uh, from one to three plant skill. We are almost halfway, maybe like 40% of the way towards plant skill number four. Our shooting has actually significantly gone up all the way to five. In fact, we've learned the max today we spent so long shooting. Uh, additionally, we wanted to kill two more animals to get uh, hides and meats, which we did with the Ibex, but then we killed five more, thanks to uh, the traders, uh, for the bison. 
And they're all here actually waiting and frozen for us to utilize whenever we want. Although, I wanted to make a wood stockpile for the winter of at least 300. Lo and behold, well, we've got 283. So we sort of met that goal, but sort of not. And we have to rebuild our wooden trap spike. Uh, and lastly, I wanted to move the house over towards the steam vent, which we did indeed do. So in the next episode, it looks like we can probably just gather up some resources, move the marble blocks down here, move everything around, try to hook up the steam vent somehow. Uh, maybe we won't need the fire to be running constantly if that were the case. Not sure we honestly need the steam vent, but might make more sense at this point if it gets really ridiculously cold. Keep in mind, it's only early fall right now. It's not even the dead of winter. What might actually make more sense is to use these blocks to double insulate to keep the fire going all winter. I think that's what we should do in the next episode. Uh, farm up these blocks here, build a second layer of insulation. In RimWorld, two layers of walls make a huge difference for insulation. Three does nothing. And you don't really need to do the corners either. So if we just went around, skipped the corners, that would help a huge amount keeping what heat we're generating in here all winter. And then, of course, we're going to have to go harvest some more trees, which was a lot easier during the springtime. Oh, look at that! I didn't even see that! Apparently there's two more dead bison out here. They would have bled to death from the ones we were trying to uh, enrage a long time ago. So we actually got seven bison, two ibex, a mega badger today. Incredible. But slow makes you move, or sorry, snow makes you move really slow. So gathering all these things and moving all this stuff around is going to be a serious, slow pain during the winter. Anyways, not so bad. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. If you guys are interested, I did manage to get the Fluffy's Mod Manager mod list posted in the Discord. Uh, also, if you're new here and you want to see more, remember to hit the subscribe button. And lastly, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Okay, here they come. Perfect. Well, I only got four of them. Relations have changed from negative five to negative eight. Domestic rabbit died. The bison stepped on the rabbit. Aww. Poor guys.